Well, it's been a while since I've done a commentary video, but I have to do one for John Romero's latest Doom episode, Sigil. What are my thoughts on it? Well, I enjoyed it, and I do plan on playing it again and again, just because I like it that much. It's a wad that feels like an official episode to the original Doom, like if Doom 1 ever had a no rest for the living type of expansion, it would have been this. The maps are really not that long, unlike some of the community made wads, where the maps can be much larger than the original game's maps, while the maps in this wad are very similar to the original game. The wad gave me some strong thy flesh consumed vibes for sure, and I'm also just impressed by how John Romero still got a lot of his mapping skills. When I was playing through the wad, it had elements where I would recognize in a John Romero map, like having some cool looking landscapes where you go ooh or ah. One thing I noticed about this episode is it's much tougher than the first four. I mean, than the four episodes from the original game. The difficulty is very similar to Thigh Flash Consumed, but I'll argue that it's even harder because that episode was only tough just for three maps, E4M1, E4M2, and E4M6, and the rest of the levels were really not that bad. However, Sigil is tough from the start to the end. It's really going to challenge you, at least on Ultraviolence, because that's the skill level I played on my first playthrough, and I have zero interest in trying out the other skill levels other than Ultraviolence. But this map set is going to challenge you, and it does it well, I have to say. You really have to look for secrets, because they do help out a lot. I managed to find all secrets for the first three maps and the last level, but I'll try to explore even more in the second playthrough, but I noticed secrets are very helpful. I might sound like I'm just praising this wad and not giving any sort of criticism, but it had its faults too. I did find the ammo stinginess to be pretty annoying once you get halfway through the wad, and the heavy amount of dark sectors and shadows were kind of annoying too. Like, I get John was trying to make these maps very moody, but I just kind of got tired of it. And E5M6 was probably my least favorite level since it was really dark compared to the other maps. With that said, I don't find any of the maps to be bad or unplayable, but I personally didn't find any maps to be amazing or something that feels inspiring like the maps that John has made in Doom 1 and 2. These maps were pretty good and entertaining, but I just didn't feel like they impressed me compared to some of the maps I played from other wads like Perdition's Gate or Vile Flesh, where there are maps that I like them so much I end up remaking them in Snap Map. I think my problem with this wad and probably a lot of the maps is the flow. It really didn't flow as well compared to the maps that John made in the original Doom or from other authors. A good example I can give you is the E4M4's um, crushing ceiling section. Like, I hated that part so much. It really slowed down like the map flow and it was just tedious too because you have to kind of like time it. It's kind of like, you know, both random and both consistent, like, it is possible to do it without dying, but I just did not like that part uh, particularly, and that's what I mean, like, you know, not having good flow. Still though, the map set is completely free, so a lot of my complaints, they're not too bad or extreme, because I personally think the map set is good enough to be sold for a price, but since John Romero was nice enough to make them free, so what can I say? It's awesome to see John Romero showing some love and respect to his fans. You could have purchased the physical copy of the WAD for collection purposes, but I'm not much of a collector, so I didn't do that. I still have interest in John's upcoming new first person shooter, which is called Black Room, and I still haven't forgotten that game, but I just think it was really cool for John Romero to release something like this for the Doom fans, and I'm interested to see whether John is going to do something like this again in the future, because I think Doom fans are cool with them releasing maps, because let's be honest here, John Romero is a great level designer, not only to just Doom mappers, but also for first person shooter map design too. I personally think episode 1 is a blueprint of how great John Romero was as a level does designer because these maps still hold up really well after years of the game's initial launch and still inspire people to this day. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say about this wad, but I do think people should check it out if you're itching for some Doom content before the E3 footage of Doom Eternal.